What is going on, JW Fashion? My name is Josh Williamson. So, after last night at NXT TakeOver, listen, NXT, listen, Raw and SmackDown need to be like NXT. In my opinion, NXT is the A show of WWE. Like, <laughs> it is fantastic. Like, the, last night was awesome. You know, I missed the pre match, but um, I'm going to read off the results anyways. Uh, Pete Dunn defeated Zach Gibson to retain the United Kingdom Championship. I love Pete Dunn. I don't know much about Zach Gibson, you know, but I love Pete Dunn. I love how vicious Pete Dunn is in the ring. You know, pulling the sides of the mouth like this of the superstars, twisting their ears, bending their fingers back. He, he's just, he is absolutely vicious in the ring, and I love that. So, and he, he is the longest reigning United Kingdom champion in history of WWE so far, and he still is now. Uh, <clears throat> last pre-show match, uh, Bianca Belair defeated uh, Deanna Perrazzo. I, I don't know who Deanna Perrazzo is. Bianca Belair, on the other hand, I've seen some matches of her, and she's good. She really is. So, yeah. All right, now we get on to the, uh, to the beginning of the actual bit. The Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong uh, defeated Mustache Mountain, Tyler Bate, and Trent Seven for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Eh, I guess that, that title win really was a fluke for Mustache Mountain, you know, at, at the Royal Albert Hall the, during the United Kingdom tournament, you know, because, uh, well, Undis the Undisputed Era still has the Tag Team Championships, so, yeah, I like the Undisputed Era, and I like Mustache Mountain, you know, so that was, that was a really good match. Uh, next match, Velveteen Dream defeated EC3. Two wrestlers that I love to watch. You know, I love both Velveteen Dream and EC3. And that was a good match. It really was. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Number five. This was my favorite match of the night. Ricochet defeated Adam Cole for the NXT North American Championship. I think Ricochet fully deserves that championship. You know, because he is, he is just amazing to watch in the ring. Like, he... I've never seen a, a high flyer like Ricochet. Never in my life. Adam Cole, he has such a high in ring IQ, and he is so smart in the ring. So, yeah, that was a great match. You know, Ricochet's new NXT North American Championship. So, yeah, good for him. All right, next match Kyrie Singh defeated Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. Finally, Kyrie Singh gets a championship. Gets a championship. You know. Shayna Baszler had a very good run because she is a monster in the ring, you know. But Kyra Stane, she really, really deserves the NXT Women's Championship, so I'm, I'm so happy about that. Uh, let's see. And the last match of the night, uh, last man standing match, NXT Championship. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Johnny, Gar Johnny Gargano. That was kind of disappointing for me, you know. I, I like both these guys. It, Tommaso Ciampa is a top-notch heel. And Johnny Gargano is a top-notch babyface, you know. Having said that, I do think that Johnny Gargano should have, should have won this match, you know, because because Johnny Gargano deserves the NXT Championship, you know. Tommaso Ciampa, he does too, you know, because they, these two perform so well in the ring, on the mic, you know. They're they're, and they have had probably the greatest rivalry in NXT history. I mean, I guess this is the last of it. I don't know. Hopefully it is, you know, because I'm kind of tired of this rivalry. Uh, but, yeah, that was a really good match, too. Probably my second favorite match of the night. Um, <laughs> yeah, moral of this, Vince McMahon, Raw and SmackDown, you need to get off your muscle fetish, you know, and actually realize that, that NXT is doing better. You know, actually... Vince McMahon said it said that he was really mad that NXT was doing was doing better than Raw and SmackDown are. Vince, it's your fault. It's your muscle fetish and your carelessness about talent of the superstars that that is making NXT better than Raw and SmackDown. It's and what's what's ma what's making Raw bad is is you have having an offer three hours a night, you know, because I I can barely sit through that. I, seriously, I barely can sit through that. You know what I mean? And on SmackDown, you only want to want, want to push the hot one in regards to their talent. Hopefully that ends tonight at SummerSlam. If it doesn't, then SummerSlam has been the last straw. Done with Raw on SmackDown if, if, 
if if they do something stupid tonight at SummerSlam. But yeah, NXT Takeover was awesome. NXT, as I said, Raw and SmackDown should be should be like NXT is. Triple H knows how to run a run a company, so I'm, I figure if Triple H takes over, then yeah, WWE might be a lot better. Vince McMahon has gone senile. But what do you guys think? Post some below. Let me know what your opinion is on this. If you like this video, thumbs up. Hit this video, thumbs down. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for joining. Turn to 1,000 subscribers. See you later.